I'm joined by Ronan Flyku from Dolby Laboratories to talk about Dolby Vision. So perhaps, Ronan, you could start by explaining exactly what Dolby Vision is. Uh, hi, Steve, and welcome. Yes, so Dolby Vision is a technology that enables a premium, true-to-life entertainment experience by bringing together high dynamic range imaging along with uh, wide color gamut imaging to motion video. So what this means is that consumers in the future can enjoy entertainment of video content, feature films, broadcast and gaming in a, in a completely new dimension. So they, beyond going to more pixels with 4K, which is a great thing, and higher frame rates, they can now get, uh, enjoy the added benefit of high dynamic range and white color to really truly transform the entertainment experience for them in their living rooms. So in technical terms, how actually are they mastered in, um, in post-production facilities? So we're working very closely with uh, the Hollywood studios, uh, getting their content from the vaults or newly created feature films, taking the raw file from the camera into a color grading system. So the color grading process today is a standard post-production process, takes about two weeks per movie. Uh, what we're doing with Dolby Vision, we're completely transforming that by using a, a new high-tech uh, reference monitor where the colorist and the director can see a lot more detail of what they shot in the original uh, movie and, and color grade it and put that into the uh, grade that they're delivering. Today, this is uh, very inhibited by the fact that the delivery mechanisms for a consumer video are essentially based on standards that are almost 20 years old. Uh, but with Dolby Vision, we're opening that up to a lot more uh, fidelity and uh, therefore a higher quality experience. Certainly at the show this year, there's been a lot of talk about dynamic range and also about wider color gamuts. I mean, in terms of Dolby Vision, how wide is the color gamut and how big is the dynamic range? Right, so uh, at Dolby, we like to uh, design things for the future. And uh, so we did a lot of research. This project has been in the works for seven or eight years. And we did a lot of uh, consumer preference studies that essentially informed us of the preference of a consumer. If they had, if there were no limitations, what is it that they would like? And we concluded that if there is a display that can go up to 10,000 nits of peak brightness and support the color gamut that has been defined by the ITU in the REC 2020 spec for UHD, if all of that was possible, they'd, they'd be happily take it. And so therefore Dolby Vision is actually designed uh, to satisfy those specifications. Now, today there are no displays uh, that exist that can actually display this fidelity. So in the meantime, we're color grading at uh, about 4,000 nits of peak brightness and are using the existing digital cinema color gamut of uh, DCI-P3 to grade content uh, along those lines and uh, uh, televisions today and in the future that come out with Dolby Vision capability will be able to take advantage of more and more of the fidelity in those masters and then over time we will be moving to exercise the full capability of the system. And which team manufacturers are actually working with Dolby on Dolby Vision? So we're working with pretty much all of the major TV manufacturers. Uh, we are not ready for any uh, firm announcements at this point, even though the first uh, televisions will be coming to the market this year. We're very excited about that. Uh, we're showing here a couple of technology demonstrations with various manufacturers. We also have a few demos on the show floor. Uh, but in terms of actual names, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, we're also working with the content distribution partners uh, to enable the services to be ready to go when the first TVs hit the shelves. So the idea is that a consumer, once the first Dolby Vision television is available in the marketplace, takes the TV home, sets it up, connects it to the Wi-Fi, and then the uh, over-the-top streaming apps will be ready to deliver Dolby Vision content in, the, in this uh, gr uh, great and amazing fidelity. And in terms of delivery, what methods of delivery are they going to be available? So we're starting with over-the-top streaming. Um, the main reason for that is, of course, because the topology is, uh, is much uh, simpler and straightforward than with the traditional broadcast uh, ecosystems. But uh, that doesn't mean that uh, uh, Dolby Vision won't be available on uh, vertical broadcast such as uh, cable and satellite in the future. And what about Blu-ray? So on Blu-ray, we're very um, happy to uh, announced that uh, Dolby Vision is, uh, has been uh, recognized as an optional format on the next generation Blu-ray uh, format that is uh, hit, uh, scheduled to hit the shelves also before the end of this year. And uh, the same Dolby Vision titles that we're grading today for over-the-top streaming uh, will then obviously be, uh, it will be possible to release those on the next generation Blu-ray disc. And have any studios already announced support? Yes, so we're very happy to announce uh, this week here that uh, Warner Brothers is the first uh, major Hollywood studio that uh, is supporting uh, Dolby Vision. 
in the form of uh, titles that uh, will be a combination of catalog titles as well as uh, new titles going forward. So right now we're going through the archive with Warner Brothers and identifying the, the right kind of titles that really show off Dolby Vision uh, beautifully and we're color grading those literally day and night at uh, post-production facilities in, in Hollywood in order to have as large a library as possible for the launch uh, here in the US uh, later this year. A lot of manufacturers have been talking about wider dynamic ranges and wider color gamuts. What makes um, Dolby Vision the best uh, format to choose? So we believe that with Dolby Vision uh, we are pre truly preserving the artistic intent. Uh, so we, we've uh, taken a lot of uh, caution and uh, a lot of uh, research work in went into uh, defining an algorithm that resides in the television set that can map the master content that we're creating in Hollywood uh, as effectively and as accurately as possible to the respective television. Every TV will have slightly different characteristics. You know, they will all be Ultra HD, but apart from that, they'll have different uh, peak white levels, they'll have uh, different local contrast performance or color gamut, and the Dolby Vision algorithm will know exactly how to map the master signal down to the uh, relative uh, capabilities of the TV. So for the first time, televisions will actually be exercised to the maximum of their capabilities. As opposed to today, if you buy a TV today, you have a, a beautiful TV that is very capable, but the signal that it's receiving is essentially obsolete because it's, you know, it's based on a spec that was defined 20 years ago by the ITU. Uh, so the TV has to do a lot of uh, post-processing to stretch the image to make it look good. But uh, what happens there is that the artistic intent in a lot of cases, or in most cases, is lost. What will be the capabilities of the first Dolby Vision uh, certified TVs then? So we are, uh, that's also a very good question, so we are working very closely with the TV manufacturers to ensure that there is a, a great uh, balance between the capabilities and the quality that you are going to see versus the feasibility of, of building the actual TV and it uh, you know, remaining within a price budget that is manageable. And there, there are a lot of um, optimizations uh, that we can help the TV manufacturers with in order to build a TV very efficiently and effectively uh, while staying within a certain budget, but uh, at the same time getting a, a performance out of it that even the TV manufacturers have not seen before. So here, you know, in, the, in this area in our, in our suite, we're showing off televisions that uh, some of these are off-the-shelf televisions that we worked on with the TV manufacturers to optimize for Dolby Vision by uh, changing the picture quality um, algorithms by optimizing the local dimming backlight. We have a lot of know-how there. Uh, so all of these elements go into the optimization of the television set in order to produce the, the first uh, TV sets that are truly outstanding. So our goal is definitely to have the best TVs in the world come out uh, as the first TVs with Dolby Vision. Well, it all sounds very exciting. Thank you very much, Roland. Thank you, Stephen.